What's up guys? I'm Shannon Aikow, Counts Customs. Check out Bill's Cool Projects on a YouTube. Take it easy. Hello YouTubers. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm um, doing a quick video on uh, converting my swing out uh, RV propane burners uh, and I'm going to put an induction uh, cooktop in. So thanks for subscribing and ring the bell for updates. But um, I converted my entire RV to solar power and I have so much excess power. Um, I never go below 70% on my batteries and uh, figured uh, maybe go to an induction cooktop, which is more efficient um, than burning propane since I have all that excess energy running five solar panels on the RV. So, so this might give you an idea, probably only a few of you would want to do something like this. But um, So I have the swing out arm in an outdoor kitchen where this could be for an indoor burner or some of the folks have these outdoor kitchens, maybe a half outdoor that just has a burner. Um, or get an induction cooktop, just plug it in. But anyway, it came with uh, like this lid and uh, the little wings fold out and propane burners, typical RV type stuff. Uh, but when the wind blows, uh, propane's blowing the heat away from the pots and uh, it's so small, I could barely even fit a saucepan on the corner of this thing, it's not that big. So anyway, I'm gonna tear this apart and see if I can fit an induction cooktop in it. Uh, that I got from Amazon. So anyway, thanks for watching. All right, took the cover off and this is the burner area um, that I'm left with. And the induction cooktop unit, standalone, it'll sit on a counter is 13. So I got plenty of room that way and uh, 11. So I got plenty of room and uh, my depth it's about three inches and these induction cooktops about two and a half so should fit in here perfect so now is to take this gas burner type stuff out and get rid of it so this is the tub that i took out of the original one original burner looks like a cake baking pan or something so anyway won't be using this anymore All right, so change of plans here. Um, decided to not use the uh, burner pan and the burner uh, area. Um, it was on here before. So what I did is uh, measured it out, and I'll show you in a minute here. I'm using an uh, inductive cooktop, and I decided to flush mount it into the new counter. So anyway, or the swing out arm. So here's the old particle board. You see it's all peeling, and the edge banding's coming off, and it's just crap and pieces of the particle board are pulling out and what I did is I got a piece of Corian uh, from the local fabrications shop here in Denver fabrications uh, LLC um, and uh, decided to uh, make a template out of the original and uh, here it is all fabricated so you see the bottom of the particle board um, connected the metal arm they had these screws uh, look like drywall screws almost and you see it's all pulling out so anyway uh, that's done so here's the core and uh, it's just fantastic to work with you need a carb wide bit um, on your router so for routing the edges use a carbide bit um, circular saw you can cut it with a straight edge uh, it's just plastic but it needs carbide uh, tip blade on it and your jigsaw I used a fine tooth uh, metal cutting Bosch blade on my jigsaw to cut some of the pieces out the corner edges and to make the rounded edges and the inside cut. So here's the magic behind the whole thing. Um, I bought this on Amazon and uh, it was $45. And it is an induction cooktop made by Ducks Top, whatever that is. And it's a model 8120 MC, so I got the silver one. I guess I got one in gold, too. Uh, supposed to be a pretty good, cool unit. Um, it's the biggest seller on Amazon, and it had the best reviews, four and a half stars, I think. Um, so, anyway, decided to go with that for 45 bucks um, shipped to the house. I figured uh, even if I uh, want, I can get a second as a backup unit, too, because it's so small and lightweight. But if you're a teardrop camper, a regular camper, 
Um, these things are pretty slick, lightweight. Uh, it's got feet on it. It's got a fan, so you need to have uh, airflow around it or underneath it. And uh, pretty slick. Um, I fired it up last night, and what it does is amazing. So, but anyway, um, so I measured everything out, and I have it so so I can drop it in into the hole. And I did research it, and you can't flush mount this as long as it has airflow to the uh, to the fan below. So anyway, I cut the hole and made a snug fit. And there it is. It's installed. So this is a really cool project. My wife does kitchen remodels and stuff, and she's pretty excited about this. Um, and they sell a lot of induction cooktops now uh, for new kitchens, for houses. Um, and uh, very popular. Um, they're heating the pan itself. There's no heat in here. And uh, later on in the video, what we'll do is uh, I'll do a real-time video on how long it takes to boil water and maybe put a piece of uh, paper towel underneath the pan just to show you how it works. And then what I'm mostly interested in is the wind. Um, when I cook on my gas burners, you know, it has those hokey little cover that folds up and has the wings on the side to try to minimize the wind. But um, last trip, I was getting hit from the backside coming into the unit um, with heavy winds and it's trying to cook and it's blowing out the flame and stuff. So with this, I'm not going to have an issue. So I'm going to hook up a fan, sit it right here and blow it onto the pan, and I'm going to see how fast it takes to boil water. So we'll do some testing with it later when I install it back on the camper again. So anyway, this turned out really slick, really nice. Um, the next thing is I need to do is that I have this arm um, that swings out. It's just connected with one 916 inch bolt. It goes up underneath it, sort of like this on the underside. And I was thinking uh, of a way not to be drilling holes down through the Corian. <clears throat> I could take and glue blocks up underneath here, but it's going to increase the weight. So I decided, uh, heck with it. So I went to Lowe's, <clears throat> and they have a, a nice little stainless steel headed bolt. It's got a really wide flange on the bolt head, Phillips screw. And what I'm going to do is uh, just use existing holes and... I'll have, you know, a couple of the screw heads showing, but again, I need to make this really robust. The trailer's banging around, hitting bumps and holes and everything else, and I need to make this really strong. All right, got the carriage bolts in. It is done. It turned out pretty good. Um, had to go with stainless steel uh, carriage bolts for Lowe's, quarter 20s. Use the existing holes, but uh, anyway, again, you can just sit this on the countertop and use it. But uh, I like this, that is so cool. That's a cool project. So, let's go get the camper out of the garage and uh, let's install it. It just connects with uh, one bolt on the swing arm right here, and uh, we'll test it out. Okay, so here's how it works. We just open up the door, and then here's the cooktop folded in the front with one bolt, 916 inch bolt. Pull out the safety pin here that keeps it retracted so when you're on the road it won't swing out. It's not going to swing out anyway, you have the door down and locked, but it's just an extra precaution. And then just take it in one finger, slide it out. And uh, it's ready to go. And I tell you, it is sturdy. I can move the whole trailer by pushing on this. So, so anyway, let's uh, try it out here, see how it does. 
All right, so let's give this a shot. I have uh, just a room temperature pan, some water in there, and I won't edit this, and uh, we'll check it out here. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Turn the power up all the way. And let's see how long it takes to get the water boiling here. Already seeing uh, ripples in the bottom. Bubbles are forming. Cannot believe how fast this is. Holy cow, this thing's faster than a microwave. That is impressive. Would you look at that? There you go. And I'm going to try this thing. I'm going to cool this pan down. And let's put a fan on it, blowing, simulating, uh, cooking outdoors here, see what it'll do. Okay, let's get crazy with this thing. I want to see what it'll do with the wind blowing at it. So I set up a small fan. You can see it's on high right now. A ton of air blowing across. And I've seen this done on a video, so let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to put a paper towel underneath. I'll get the, let's put a paper towel underneath there. Line it up. And again, it's room temperature. Room temperature water. Let's see how long it takes to boil. Let's power this bad boy up and let's see what it'll do. So I got the fan blowing on high, which you can't do with the propane that I had before. I got a paper towel, <laughs> and I'm already seeing bubbles. This is unbelievable. This is faster than a microwave. Get it up to a full boil. What's it been, uh, maybe 30 seconds? And I'm not editing, this is real time doing this. I'm not speeding it up, this is real time. Check that out. I'm impressed. No way you could do this with propane. All right, well, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Um, the one thing that I did determine is that you need a full sine wave, a pure sine wave inverter. Um, a modified sine wave inverter, most of them probably aren't gonna be able to drive this thing because it's with electronics in it. So anyway, uh, just make a note of that, but uh, I'll go turn this fan off. And uh, Hopefully it gave you some ideas on, on what you could do with an induction cooktop um, in the campground on your camper, maybe modifying what you got like I did with a swing out arm if you have one or a drawer that might slide out. Or just sit it on, top, on the picnic table, plug it in. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Um, this was a really cool project. Um, probably got uh, with the uh, Corian and the uh, Ducks Top uh, induction cooktop. Uh, a total of maybe a hundred bucks into it and I had to repair that particle board anyway it was falling apart so anyway um, hopefully this gave you some ideas on what you could do uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and please subscribe and hit ring the bell for any updates and check out all my other videos on solar power on hot rod builds on uh, hey check out my uh, rocket stove that I made so uh, i actually show you how to make a rocket stove and you can cook dinner with pine cones and twigs from the yard. So that worked out really well. So check out that video. But uh, anyway, uh, appreciate your time and thanks for watching. So let's put this away.
safety pin in, done, stored.